All Hail King Activision this week on Boss Battle. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 167, a show in which the writers and are going to begin to get, dot com, get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F.J. Town, but before we get to the infotainment and good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody's achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What'd you achieve? Uh, I played some Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, I'm really, really digging this game. Uh, I love 1868 London. Um, it's just an all-around good time. You, you I, can't I, live there. What's that? You, you can't live there. Yeah, I know. I, uh, <laughs> I climbed a... A, a, a sink point, and I found a giant grasshopper. Like the weather vane on this really tall building was just a giant grasshopper. Um, I, I tweeted it a few days ago, so you can go look at it. But yeah, it was just a giant grass grasshopper, and it made absolutely no sense. And then I'm like, ah, silly Brits. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I accomplished this week. Okay. Riz, how about you? Uh, actually, you can go on intercoinbegin.com. I posted two videos of an indie game called Unmechanical. It was free on a PlayStation Now network. And it is a very, very interesting strat- strategy game that's, if, if you know me, you know that I cannot play strategy games too well. And you'll find that out in the near future when I post these videos on there. I stunk at these ones. <laughs> but uh, go check it out at intercoinbegin.com. Uh, right now I'm playing a little bit of 2K16, a little bit of Phantom Pain, and a little bit more of Destiny. I am almost at the final boss of Taken King, and there's the video, there's a unmechanical there. I'm a little, little tiny robot. Um, but I'm just no waiting my time for, uh, the next week when, uh, I will probably, if, if you guys don't see me on Tuesday, please send help because it's fallout time. <laughs> I will, I, I, you guys will need to force me out of fallout Four. I ride the train boys. It's coming. I can't afford a ticket right Ride now. the train, Bobby. Can't afford a ticket. Ride I am it. eventually going to punch that ticket. But we're, and we're going to talk a little bit Woo. more about Fallout 4 here in a bit. Um, uh, Sorg, what did you achieve this week? Guys, I had a, you know, I, so like I have a very busy schedule. So when I get to video games, uh, there's qualifications that ha- have to happen. I don't have anything scheduled for the weekend, basically. And my wife has gone to bed early so I can monopolize the TV. <laughs> and I just go to town. Uh, so, uh, Whoa. Whoa. that's a little bit uh, on video games. So I played some more Tomb Raider. <laughs> I thought I was at the end of Tomb Raider because it got, I'm like, it can't get much better than this. And then it just like bought out and there's like half of the game still to go. I'm like, Oh, okay. That's where we're at. I mean, stuff was on fire. It was, it was all over the place. It was crazy. And then it was not the end of the game. And I was very surprised. Um, I, I kind of dived into a lot of stuff. I was telling you guys before the show, uh, Metal Gear Solid uh, Ground Zeroes, which was a game, you know, a, a, you know, a game of a, you know, one of the, one of the uh, freebie games. Uh, dived into a little bit of. Uh, I got back to Assassin's Creed Three. Yep. Uh, finally record. got to the part where I have my outfit. Yay! <laughs> I've owned the game since like launch week. <laughs> yeah. So. Get into that, yeah. um, but yeah, but also also to the point where I'm I'm uh, commanding ships, and I really want to get through this game so I can do Black Flag, flag now. Um, so that's fun. Uh, a little bit of uh, I think I did a little bit of Mortal Kombat, a little bit of uh, she's something else I played in there too. Bolt Storm just popping in on, on on some of those games and just kind of doing a little bit of everything this week and catching up. So that's what I was doing, Bobby. Awesome. All right, and I uh, figured out how to stream NES games and, and, and retro games on Twitch. So um, when I play my 24 hours, that's what I'll have on hand. A lot of, like, old-school retro games. Um, I played Destiny this week. 
Uh, I played Castlevania 2, Iron Sword, um, Katamari Damacy, uh, and I played um, the usual like Fallout. Uh, Fallout and the Fallout Shelter, yeah. Um, thanks, Riz. And that's about it. I have to train, Bobby. I'm, the train I'm, is coming for you. The, the train's coming, but it, uh, it's going to have to wait a while. The train is about and, to get and, shot in the face because oh, it's Call of oh, Duty week. And, <laughs> and, and I took advantage. I went to Altoona this weekend, and I went to their um, – they still have an electronics boutique. Wow. Yeah, it's still an electronics boutique. It's not a GameStop, but they're, they're still affiliated, I guess. Um, but they had a 4 for $10 sale going on for, like, older games. Um, so I picked up uh, – what did I pick up? Binary Domain for Xbox 360. Um, I picked up uh, – what, what is it called? I can't remember now. Um, Darksiders 2. Uh, Bioshock 2. And Dead Space 3. Four for ten bucks. So that's not a bad deal at all. So I don't have those games to play. I, I plan on playing uh, – Dead Space 3 at like 3 in the morning to keep me awake. Oh, Bobby, no. Yeah, I need something to keep me awake, so that, Bobby, that might no. be it. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, not not too much. Um, Chuck, you want to send us around the, the net? It's now time for video game things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. Uh, first up, Lego builder Marion Stipkovic. Stipkovic? I uh, did several levels of track <laughs> if, you, if you say his name three times, does he appear to you? Uh, <laughs> Is he like uh, Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice. Yeah. Um, it's just a Lego Beetlejuice. <laughs> he built uh, this this Lego builder, Marion, uh, did several levels of Crash Bandicoot, Bandicoot 2. Wow, man. Man. In, you, in you, Lego. Man. Um, I put an example in the the, the post over at insertfunbegin.com, and I linked the rest of its uh, flicker shots. It's pretty much the perfect game to build out of Legos. Cause, I mean, it's pretty much already Lego-ish uh, without being Lego. So mm-hmm. you can go over and check it out. Uh, next up, have you guys ever wondered how Mortal Kombat really began? No. No, I did. Go, go, Bobby. <laughs> All right, well, thanks. Um, you can go over and, and I recommend checking out Combat Kids. Um, it's how Mortal Kombat really got started. Um, it's 20, I watched some of that. It, it's 25 minutes long. Yeah, until I found out it was 25 minutes long, and then I'm like, um, so yeah. you'll need to set uh, you'll need to set average TV time aside for this, mm-hmm. and um, and it's and it's animated. So like they took some yeah. time on this. I mean, it's mm-hmm. like Flash yeah. animated, but still, right? It, it is. It's really really good though. I mean, mm-hmm. it, it's well done. It's entertaining. I enjoyed it from start to finish. I just didn't have time to watch it. Right. I was like, oh, this would be five minutes. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, twenty five minutes long. Um, I definitely recommend checking it out because it is entertaining. And last but not least, uh, you can add this to your uh, TV viewing block. Mm-hmm. Um, Metroid: The Sky Calls. Um, it's a, an extremely well done fan made uh, short film uh, by Rainfall Films that did an, it is an incredible eleven minute Metroid short. With um, Jessica Chobot from Nerdist slash Mass yeah. Effect. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. She's really good in it, too. Um, so it, it is – it's another one of those uh, fan-made things that maybe Nintendo should think about giving uh, movie rights out to certain people mm-hmm. uh, because it is extremely well done and entertaining. So go over to insertcointobegin.com and check out this week's video game from around the internet. <laughs> Back to you, Bobby. All right. It's time for some things that we should be made aware of. Um, our first story is Paragon is coming. A, a new game from Fortnite and OG uh, Gears of War developer Epic Games. Uh, but it's only going to be out on PC and sometimes in, sometime in 2016. 
Uh, but the game will feature a wide variety of characters. Uh, we only have one character named uh, Twin Blast that was teased in a little character model video. Uh, there's no sound or anything. They just kind of rotate and look at the character. Um, other characters were announced such as Steel, Sparrow, Decker, and Grux. Um, the heroes will have special combat abilities based on what players choose to fight for, whether it be glory, pride, fortune, or infamy. Uh, players who would like to uh, can sign up for the beta on the game's website, which is epicgames.com slash paragon slash list. Uh, we should know more about the game in the near future, but for now, all we have is that little teaser video. <laughs> um, uh, moving on to Fallout 4 news. Wonder Woman wrote five original songs for Fallout 4. Mm -hmm. uh, well, not Wonder Woman, but Linda Carter, who mm -hmm. actually played Wonder Woman in the 70s TV show. And she will lend her voice for five original songs for the Fallout 4 soundtrack and will also voice one of the characters in the game. Um, she's going to be the voice of Magnolia. And what some people might not know is Linda Carter also voiced a few characters in Elder Scrolls games like uh, in the Elder Scrolls Online game. Um, because her husband is the CEO of Zenimax Studios, um, the studio behind The Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, Miss Carter's character, uh, Magnolia, can be found in the town of Good Neighbor in a bar that is in... No spoilers. Uh, well, it's not really a spoiler. It's just, she's there. Uh, the bar is like the center of town where a lot of action and business does take place. Um, so that, that's a good thing. Uh, so her character might figure... Pretty prominently in, in the bar, anyways. Uh, but she, she uh, sings five songs, uh, one of which, a smooth, jazzy song called Good Neighbor, of course, can be previewed at SoundCloud on SoundCloud.com. All right, and moving on to Batman. <laughs> um, hey guys, Batman Arkham Knight is playable on PC. Mm -mm. Kind of. <laughs> Uh, people are still having problems with the game, but fear not, Warner Brothers Interactive has now offered a full refund to those that are still having problems with the game, but only through the end of the year. They are also offering a refund for the Season Pass, however, both the game and the Season Pass must be returned, a.k.a. you can't keep playing this game once you've received the refund. Um, a Reddit user said, the game is plagued by stuttering, hitching, freezing, drop frames and general inconsistencies and others complained that worse there the frame rates are worse now than when the, the game launched which that's not good um warner brothers interactive went on to say for those that are sticking with the pc game uh we are going to continue to address the issues that we can fix and talk to you about the issues that we cannot fix um so yeah that's they're still about the same place they were when, when the mm -hmm. game was broken in the first place. Good job, guys. All right. Our friends over at IGN, we don't really know them, but they're, I consider them a friend because they've been mm -hmm. friends with me for a long time. They give us gaming news. Um, they had a story about pizza and games. Pizza and games go hand in hand. Just ask IGN, who compiled a list of pizza throughout gaming history. Um, here are some of the examples when it comes to virtual pies. Pizza plays a huge part in the Lego Island game. The main character is a delivery boy named Pepperoni. Pepper space Roni. And what might you ask does he deliver? Why, Lego pizzas, of course. Um, the characters in Silent Hill 2 find pizza. Very spooky pizza. You can call up and order a pizza in The Sims. Assassin's Creed Black Flag even had a pizza in it. Mm -hmm. Grand Theft Auto has a pizza place that you can go pick up some pies. Heck, there's even a Pizza Tycoon game, guys. Remember EverQuest 2? They let you order pizza from the game. Like, real pizza would be delivered to your house from a pizza Domino's place. Or Domino's with Domino's. And, yes, and in the Xbox One dashboard, you could order pizza from, from Domino's. Or was it Pizza Hut? I can't remember. Probably both now. Um, there, was also, there was also a game based on Domino's 80s mascot, The Noid. Oh, I remember yes. that. Oh. Um, and, of course, how can we forget the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles – in which the turtles use pizza to replenish their health. And you got a free personal pan pizza with Ninja mm -hmm. Turtles 2, the arcade game. Yeah. But why all this talk about pizza, Sorg? Because, yeah, that's because we're gamers, and, uh, and we like mm -hmm. pizza, including that from 
uh, Slice on Broadway up here in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. Uh, down in the tracks of Beachview as well as the Main Street down on Carnegie, PA. Check them out. SliceOnBroadway.com. You'll get fed. Uh, as they've been supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for well over a year. And also down on Main Street in Carnegie, PA. Uh, so thank you so much for them. Check them out on the Facebook, on the Instagram, and PGH underscore Slice on the Twitters. We're going to check out what's going on last week in the Sorgatron Media Universe. The Contingious you uh, sort of trying to media universe not the hawaii screw those guys and we'll be right back a lot of noises but uh, uh no language he liked to bash his head off of things bricks mainly he would throw bricks up in the air and then and then jump and smash the brick he was a, a interesting fella rambo was oh hey, chachi is not here by the way Senor maple leaf yes he is. oh hey hey it's halloween I'm allowed to do I'm, this. Happy Halloween. I am allowed to do this. I, I, oh, I'm sorry. It's really hot under there. <laughs> I haven't even noticed that we have the travelwits.com, which solves the cheapest way to get from A to B, vacations within budget. And one of the problems uh, that seems interesting to us uh, down the road is uh, utilization of uh, hotel points and, and uh, mile, frequent flyer mi- miles. The Google Trends fright, guys. Whoa. Yeah, so, so this will tell you what the trending search Halloween costume search trends are. There, if you look at the top above the map, there's a trending nationally. Zima says it all the time. Be, be humble. Just be humble. Listen. And Zima's one of those guys where I feel like I probably wouldn't be where I am in wrestling if it wasn't for things he said and advice he gave me i like to think that brock lesnar and undertaker just have baby fingernails that are like right <laughs> <laughs> and they just couldn't help it you know we sure did a lot of stuff this week guys that's a story <laughs> When you think, oh, it's time for a final bad question this week. When you think Activision, what kinds of games do you think of? Call of Duty? Diablo? Well, now you can add Candy Crush to the mix. That's right. Activision acquired Candy Crush developer King Games for a mere sum of $5.9 billion. That's right. More than Disney paid for Marvel and Star Wars each. (laughs) Uh, with the purchase, Activision gains Candy Crush Saga, Bubble Witch Saga, and any other sagas that they want from King. Uh, classic mobile games, uh, which are produced by King. They also get a boatload of cash that King brings in from all their free-to-play games and microtransactions. Uh, that combined rev- or the, the combined rev- revenues. Oh, wait, okay. Let me start this again. The combined revenues and profits solidify our position as the largest most profitable standalone company in interactive entertainment, said Bobby Kotick, the CEO of Activision Blizzard. Hey, Bobby. Yay. Yeah, you know him. You know him. Uh, in a press release. Uh, King was founded in 2003 and has a worldwide active user count of 474 million people. Mm-hmm. Uh, which brings us to our final battle question. Do you think that Activision is getting too big or do you think it was a smart move by buying a mobile company like King, as it seems to be where gaming has been heading and, and, and will be heading in the near future? Thoughts? It, it's just like when Facebook got like Instagram or whatever that was. Mm-hmm. Was, it, was it Facebook that got Instagram? So, yeah. yeah. They didn't do jack with that yet. They just didn't want Twitter to have it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, think, I think it's just the point of it just being – it's available, so let's pick it up. And yeah, they they shelled out some heavy money for that, mm-hmm. um, but they have the money to do it. So you know what? They just showed out, out, just like Facebook bought Os- Oculus Rift. Yeah, they showed out. They're, they they bought guaranteed money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, it's a smart business move. Yeah, and it, it King wasn't available, but at what, $5.9 billion? Yeah, $5.9 billion. You're, you're available. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't matter what you're doing. At $5.9 billion, mm-hmm. 
you are available. I just wonder if they bought it too late. No, I mean, no, we no. Didn't. They bought it know. at the perfect it's, time. But is Candy Crush as popular popular it's, as it used to be though? Yes, yes, it is. It is. It is. There is a mobile version of Farmville, Bobby. I've never played Candy Crush, and I don't. I'm not going to start now. It, no, it's, no, it's, I'm not going to start, <laughs> but I'm just saying. It, it's the face. It, remember when Facebook was really big? Yeah, but Farmville faded had, out. Like how long? How long did it fade it took out? A, it took a it while, took a, but it, it took a couple it years. It faded out though. This is this is still in. And like, Candy Crush has been around for a while. This is they're still moving on the upswing for right now. They might be at the top. They might be near the top, closer to the top than the bottom, but they're still at the top. They, there's still money to milk out of that cow. I think the biggest Activision issue here is getting that money. Oh, sorry, Riz. I, I think the biggest issue here is it, when you're buying something like these. You know, we're seeing like how Angry Birds isn't doing well. They could they couldn't continue the success or come up with another hit. Yeah, the movie's coming out there. Well, the movie, that doesn't even matter. Like People are, are, are kind of waiting on it, and they couldn't come up with something else. They've tried. They've had other games come out. Uh, same with Farmville. There was like, you can't have all the other Vills, and they couldn't come up with another concept. They did well with the one. It faded off, and that's it. And I don't know what the long tail is going to be on Candy Crush itself, but does King have another Candy Crush in it? If it doesn't, then it's going to turn into another uh, uh, Zynga, okay. wasn't it? Uh, it's yeah, it's, it's going to turn that. into all those kinds of things, uh, and, and this is this is something that's going on with the development in the app gaming kind of thing. Now, what they might have the ability to do is use that talent from the Candy Crush company, and that will support the mobile efforts with their Call of Duty franchise, etc. Man, the Gem Call of Duty game is going to be amazing, guys. Uh, <laughs> you know that's coming up. But 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 well, exactly. But it's mobile talent, and and they're going to hopefully leverage that talent so it's not a big five point nine billion dollar loss. I don't know if that justifies that number, oh. but I don't know. But again, not being a business person, um, I'm not sure what all goes into that. So. Could um, you- could you imagine a combination Hearthstone gem game? Like Blizzard, like, you know, Blizzard properties? Oh, geez. Warcraft, Starcraft. Here's the thing, though. Mm-hmm. Bobby, how many users did you say they still have? 474 million. Okay, so... Active users, too. Right, it have to right. be a severe drop-off to make a difference. Yeah. Here, here's the thing. Look at it this way. If... A portion of those users, and I'm talking a very small portion, Mm -hmm. I use uh, the example 200,000 people. Mm -hmm. If 200,000 of their current users drop five bucks a week Mm -hmm. on on Candy Crush. That's a Brinks truck of money. That's Mm -hmm. a million (laughs) dollars a week that they're bringing. Yeah, and that's not to mention, uh, sorry to interrupt, Jaji. The, the the ad revenue that they they're mm-hmm. drawing in from the from right. The, I, I mean, everybody everybody should... Should... side note: those giant gummy bear commercials scare the crap out of me. I <laughs> mean, you're talking you're talking, and this is such a meager number because I I use just a portion of what it probably is, but I mean, you're talking fifty two million dollars a year in just uh, purchases. Not covering ads, and I, and I mean I realize that they have costs that offset that, but even at this meager meager number, they they're, they're fine. Mm-hmm. Activision did okay. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I like how I like how we had to try and convince Bobby. Oh well, no, it, and it, it worked. It's fine. It's fun. I just wanted to hear your guys' sides of the story. You, know? it, it, you gotta it, have an opposing view then. There. It does. It does. We we do, Bobby. It's I okay. mean, I, I know it was a smart business decision. It, it, it was I'm not going really to play. I'm not going to play Call of Duty Candy Crush. But here, here's where we're gonna <laughs> can't wait for it. Honestly, <clears throat> Call of Duty will have oh, probably God. somehow have in a companion app. Call of Duty Witch Saga. Um. <laughs> Like most of the first-person shooters usually have, uh, I believe Black Flag had one. Uh, I know Mass Effect had one. By the way, November seventh is coming up, guys. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is just the possibilities are endless. But I don't think Activision is going to touch 
king yet. They don't yeah, have to. Probably gonna let them go. They don't have to. Call of Duty had uh, companion apps. Oh god, I do, I do remember that. <laughs> Call of Duty Elite. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. I just I just want to play Call of Duty well, Witch Saga. That's what I want to play. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for us this week. You can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. You can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily. And you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Sorg, you got any plugs? Oh, check out everything going on at sorgatronmedia.com. We got, of course, Sawtooth Willie. He gets horny this week. Go check out hey. Sawtooth Willie on hey. Facebook and YouTube. Subscribe to it so you don't miss a video. They're a lot of fun. Our Pittsburgh hobo friend. Also, uh, check Check out, uh, I don't know, what else am I doing lately? Uh, just check out all the shows and check out everything else, and please share everything. Please, uh, if you're digging stuff that's happening here, share it with your friends, share it with everybody, and uh, so we can get some more people listening and, and have some fun, and, uh, and especially the articles over at insertcointobegin.com. All right, Chachi, any plugs? I, I reviewed a book. What? A uh, book? A paper what? doll book. What's um, a book? Um, so you can go over to insertcoinbegin.com and check it out and the wonderful photos done by Chris. Um, and, uh, yeah, just uh, at Chachi says. Well, tell them what the book this. is. Tell them what the book is. Oh, it's uh, uh, Hillary Rodham Clinton's uh, presidential race. Nice. Mm-hmm. By the way, one picture of Chris Christie on there, he looks slim. <laughs> well, that's because uh, they used the same body for mm. most of the uh, Republicans. Um, and you just what does that say? And there's Oprah. You're saying all Republicans look alike. And, uh, yes, I am. <laughs> and um, you can just put different heads on that, that same uh, form body. Um, and I would like to point out that uh, the devil is one of them. So, <laughs> Jeez. Um, a our, 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 I got a question. Yes. Are books those things that Pizza Hut used to give us pizza for? Yes. Reading? Yes. Okay. I got you. Now I know what books are. I learned something today. All right. Riz, any plugs? Uh, actually, go to Get the vote. Uh Speaking of every articles going up every day, I'll have a video up every day of the unmechanical playthrough that I had, which is, like I said, quite interesting, quite interesting good game that I played. Uh, I'm pretty sure the the time is up for it to be done with being free, uh, but if it is on, if it is free, you should, I should pick it up. All right, and I'm going to plug my our extra life thing we're doing this weekend. Uh, me, Lunchbox, and his girlfriend are going to play games for 24 hours. Uh, you you can watch my stream on twitch.tv slash Grandmaster Sixty. Yes, I know the name's terrible. <laughs> That's my gamer tag, though. Um, but uh, you can uh, donate. Our team name is Uncharted for Drake's donations on Extra Life, and I'll be tweeting out the link. Uh, and donate if you can. Nothing beats Banjo Three. No, that was terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it for us. Game over. Game over, yeah. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.